The Tao of Self-Confidence, Episode 788. Welcome to the Tao of Self-Confidence, where I share stories of amazing women who have discovered their inner journey to self-confidence. Visit our website at thetaoofselfconfidence.com. Your inner journey to self-confidence awaits. Well, hello, friend. Welcome to the Tao of Self-Confidence, where I share stories of amazing women who have discovered their inner journey to self-confidence. I'm your host today, Sheena Yapchan, and today I have a phenomenal lady on the show today. She's a calligrapher and a business owner, and I'm really excited to have her on and share her story with us today on self-confidence. So without further ado, I'm going to introduce you to Angie Phillips. Angie, how are you today? Maybe you can fill in a little bit more about yourself to the listeners. Hi, thanks so much for having me, Sheena. So I am a calligrapher and I own my own business for the past 10 years doing calligraphy and hand-lettered artwork for brands and events all over the world. And I teach calligraphy to students of all ages. Thanks for sharing that. And what's your cultural background? I am half Filipino-American and half Caucasian. Thanks for sharing that. And what'd be your favorite self-confidence quote? Yeah, I was thinking about that to get a quote for this interview because I there's so many great quotes out there, but this one is not probably a widely known quote. It's actually something that a mentor of mine said to me, and the quote is, success and validation are just a sideshow to the true pursuit, which is growth. And that's from my mentor, Brandon Munoz, who he's just been a great influence in my life. And I, I love that quote because... I feel like sometimes the success and validation that often accompanies our growth, but not always, makes it important to recenter on the pursuit of the actual growth rather than chasing that external validation, which in the end is actually kind of empty, while growth is something that really reminds you that you're still alive. Thanks for sharing that great quote. And in your own words, how do you define self-confidence? To me, self-confidence is an awareness and an acceptance of your own flaws and failures and mistakes, as well as your strengths and passions and aspirations, and how that awareness and acceptance invites us into a balance of true humility, courage, and even badassery to do your thing and bring something good into the world. And sometimes that's on a personal, individual level, or sometimes it's through global influence. Thanks for sharing that great definition. And what was your life like before discovering self-confidence? I think back on, you know, some earlier years when I felt really insecure, you know, and there was different points in my life when I felt insecure. And the common thread is just constantly looking for that external validation and approval from people thinking that my worth was only tied up in how useful I could be or how many accolades I could receive. And often that meant never knowing how to say no um, when people would ask for things from me, wanting to keep this inner tally of comparison and wonder how I could get to, you know, a certain level or even, you know, if I could only do more by pleasing other people. But that sort of kept me in this place of insecurity because my measure of worth was so based on external forms of validation that I didn't really have a sense of that from within. Thanks for sharing that. What was that point in your life when you realized you can go out there and be who you are today? Especially, you know, going into calligraphy. I know it's not like something that's typical, right? Mm -hmm. Especially in an Asian upbringing. What was that aha moment that gave you the push to do something that you love? You know, I can't even think of a specific aha moment that, you know, made me feel like I could do this. It was more of like just kind of a slow, constant journey. It's been this ongoing realization and fine tuning. You know, there was a point when I just decided to go for it because I realized I could because there were things, you know, coming together that were making making things happen um, because I said yes to doing, you know, this project or that project like things along the way, you know, and, you know, in different areas of life, you know, using calligraphy as an example, when I was just starting out, I felt so underqualified, constantly feeling this imposter syndrome, like, what am I even doing? And then at some point along the way, you know, not even just like a point, but, you know, you have these points where you realize, oh, wow, I'm, I'm doing it. I'm doing a thing I didn't really think I could do a year ago or whatever. And there are people looking to me for answers now and looking to me for inspiration. And and that's something I can be proud of. And oh, I have something to offer the world, even though it's not, you know, the same as this person or that person that I admire. It's something that I can offer. And that's constantly happening as I continue to grow both in my artistry and 
in business sense, you know, even when it's a difficult season, I can keep looking back to recognize how much growth has happened and say, wow, I'm doing okay, or, you know, something like that. And that's an example from, you know, the work and business side of my life. But I think a parallel journey has to exist in all the other facets of life, like your relationships and your friendships and your mental health, all the things that combine to make us whole by how we interact with the world around us. Thanks for sharing that. And you know, I love how you mentioned, you know, when we first start something out, that's like scary, we always feel like we're not worthy enough, or we do feel like we're underqualified, or we don't know anything about it. But even if we don't know about it, we can always figure it out along the way. And sometimes, you know, you actually know a lot more than you realize, right? And you never know who you can inspire out there, or even inspire yourself to moving forward. And I love how you mentioned like calligraphy was that, you know, is what helped you be who you are today and have the inspiration and confidence to keep going and doing what you love and even turning it into a career. And, you know, because of that realization, what's your life been like now? Now, I mean, I, I never really feel that need to compare myself to others. Like, it's strange, like, it, it's a very freeing feeling, or, you know, I'm not waiting for validation, because I already know I'm creating good work, or that I have something to offer the world. And that comes from something that I know in myself. It's not coming from that outside voice. There are voices I'm looking for, you know, instead of scrolling on social media and wishing I could be like this person or do this or that kind of thing, I'm inspired and I'm able to be deliberate with pursuing my own path that doesn't follow what everyone else is doing or looking at, you know. I can experience growth and even great success without doing the things that everyone says you have to do, like you have to do this to get here. You know, you don't, I don't have to follow this formula that doesn't feel genuine to who I am and to what I want to do. Thanks for sharing that. And you know, to the woman who's listening to your episode, she may be in her own journey to self-confidence. What would be that one tip you would give to her? I would say you can own wherever you are in that journey. It's a windy road that can sometimes dip in and out of confidence and that's okay. Check in with yourself often. I think the check-in is important so that you can acknowledge the struggles and the motivations and recognize what your true pursuit is. What's the growth for you? And there's a freedom to be deliberate with what you do when you're accepting of who you are and able to be fully yourself. Thanks for sharing those great tips. And if our listeners wanted to get to know a little bit more about you and what you do and check out some of your work, is there any links or social media profiles we can connect with? Yeah, I am everywhere at Angelique Inc. That's Inc. with a K. And AngeliqueInc.com is my website. Thanks for sharing that to our listeners. If you want to connect with Angie, you can also head on over to the TileofSelfConfidence.com and search for Angie's name. Her show notes will pop up along with everything else that we talked about. And I really just want to thank Angie today for taking the time to share her story and tips with us on self-confidence. So thank you so much, Angie. Thank you so much for having me. It was great talking with you. Not a problem. It was really great having you on the show. And to our listeners, be on the lookout for another new episode of another amazing woman's journey to self-confidence. And we'll talk to you soon. Bye for now. Thank you for tuning in to another amazing episode of the Tao of Self-Confidence. Get your free audiobook by visiting our website at thetaoofselfconfidence.com. Your inner journey to self-confidence awaits.